Hello and welcome to day 33 of 100 Days of Tonalism. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and the study I've done today is by George Aness and it is called Woodland Scene. Um, you, those of you that have been following uh, my blog and this uh, series uh, will um, be familiar with George Aness by now, uh, seeing as I've done many, many uh, studies from his paintings for this series. And a lot of the reason for that is um, an effort to sort of internalize um, a lot of what George Ness has done since he's uh, my favorite painter and really one of the, if not the greatest landscape painter that's ever lived. Um, this scene, woodland scene, I put it into the uh, search of Google and uh, interestingly it came up with a reference to a book that I own. It's called uh, George Ness and the Science of Landscape and this is by Rachel Ziadi Dilu and um, she has some interesting theories about uh, his approach to composition which was very very unique and very, um, what's the word? Uh, well, first of all, it's, it's great, but uh, it is a, a sort of intuitive science that he used. And um, if you ever read any readings of, from George Ness, it seems quite frenetic and, and it's really hard to make out a lot of what he's trying to say in his writings. But um, some of that has been distilled quite nicely in several books. One book, which I do not own, but um, and, and certainly informs people like Rachel's book uh, on his approach to composition. I'm going to read a little bit about what, what she said here. Um, he talks about, she talks about Inessa's obsessive coordination of parts. Uh, in both uh, Early Autumn on Clara, which was the first painting in this series, and Near the Village October, which is coming up in this series, by the way, uh, Ness pairs two trees, and the first a large sunlit tree and a smaller shadowed one. And in the second, two similarly shaped trees, one illuminated, one in shadow. As if to underscore this interest in relation of parts, he does the same in many other canvases, including Woodland Scene, which is the painting that we're discussing today. Um, so this is certainly something he had in mind, and this is almost a reverse image in a lot of ways of uh, Summer Montclair, which was the uh, first painting in, uh, that I did in the series. Anyway, I can see we're getting close to the end here, so thanks for joining me for day 33, and uh, there will be more Nesses coming up. If you'd like to see more of my work, go to landscapepainter.co.nz, and meanwhile, stay out of trouble.